talking no, about no, money. No. You got any? We put this panel together um, really because how to make money is is the reason that these most of the, the media companies exist. If you were mentoring a media startup that had limited capital, what revenue models would you point them to? Essentially, build an audience. Uh, the question is where that audience lives, and that definitely depends on the content creator. I think it's a lot easier right now to establish an audience through social networks where there are essentially viral uh, resharing metrics where your scale can increase. Assuming we have a couple years to build this business, I would... Three years. Three years? I would three years. I would definitely have advertising in the picture as a revenue stream, and so pixels associated with your content, regardless of where they live. And then I would definitely have a membership type model or some sort of subscription model, but I'd like to elevate it to the brand. So I'll, I'll speak specifically to advertising because that's all I care about. I would say that once this company is up and running, has some viewership and is selling advertising that uh, trust the majority of those uh, standard ad unit sales to a great technology that knows how to mediate demand and then build a smart sales team that's lean that knows how to sell both direct and programmatic. You know, all of this is correct. You know, follow the audience, follow the money, diversify your money. Um, but it so depends on what your business is. And so um, we have parts of our business where um, it's all about numbers. We gotta get the numbers up, we gotta get people, um, we gotta go to social media, we gotta do this. And there are other parts of our business where we just need to find the people who are looking for what we have. And it's a defined set of those people. And if we can get to them, we have lots of opportunities to, to help them and to profit from that. This room is gonna get a little warm. I promise it won't get weird if I take my jacket off. That'll be the only thing that comes off. It'll just be the jacket. Um, uh, It'll be weird for them. <laughs> Video is a much more responsive unit, and that's a place where you can monetize in multiple ways uh, outside, around the video through banner inventory, by doing pre-roll or post-roll advertisement. You know, we see this distinct editorial movement um, trying to shift readers to viewers, and it's working. The, form, the production costs around video, though, are really high, and uh, we watched a, a number of companies, some fantastic companies in New York that have really wrestled with that, that production versus revenue model. You know, if everybody in the room is working on video, um, there, there are only so many minutes and so many hours in a day, um, you know, newsy or flippin' or buzzfeedy that, you know, it, eventually when everybody's doing it in, in such high volumes, um, it's hard to do two things. Number one, sustain your scale because your competition grows and grows. And um, number two, it's hard to monetize it because there are so many places now for marketers to go and there are only so many marketing dollars to spend. Um, on platform, do you think that that's a losing strategy, that they should just go to where those eyeballs already are? I mean, I, I think so. Again, there's not a one-size-fits-all, so I just uh, spent a week in Germany spending a lot of time with the Build group. Uh, Build is like the New York Post, but at a national level. They're, they're more the Daily News. news. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Uh, and I'll just like sneak out the back right now. Uh, but no, I mean, it's trashy, so. Oh, well. <laughs> Ultimate content will go wherever consumers want it, and it'll, you'll find ways to monetize it. That's the way content's always working. If you have great content, you will find your consumers, and you'll figure out ways to monetize it long term. So, in this short, you know, this short little window we're in, where there's an ebb and flow, and there's this hysteria in the last couple of weeks, um, it's worth pointing out. I think the three things that really matter to a publisher in a deal like that are the relationship with the consumer. They actually have to know it's your content. They have to know it's your brand that matters. That's the premium that you have in the marketplace. Um, the ability to measure that audience matters. You actually need to be able to know that you're reaching that audience. And then and the third is the financial term. Uh, what it all comes down to at this juncture, in my opinion, whether it's direct sold all the way through non-guaranteed is, is competition. So, you know, I work for an ad exchange which has its own demand, but when we work with publishers, we, we advocate bringing as much demand as humanly possible. Ad networks, other exchanges, it's the way that publishers will make top dollar for their inventory is to allow uh, everyone to be at each other's throat.